everyone, it's Miss Chelsea. I hope that you had a great two week vacation and we are back now for some virtual extended school year. It will be basically the same thing that we were doing for the regular school year. Um, our theme first for the first part will be the beach and ocean, which as you know in the classroom was one of my favorite things. We will get started and sing hello. Hello. Everyone, we're glad you're here today. Hello, everyone, we're glad you're here today. Tutti Fruity, ah Rudy, wop bop a loo bop a wop and boom. Okay, we haven't done calendar for a couple of weeks. Let's see if we remember how this goes. Today is. Monday. It's the first day of the week. Yesterday was Sunday, and so today it is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. And guess what? It's not May anymore. May ended when the regular school year ended, and now we are halfway through the month of, does anybody know what it is? June. Our month is June. June is the month. June is the month. I hope did you know June is the month. And because in June, it's usually so hot outside and sunny, our symbol will be some sunglasses. I have some sunglasses that are shaped like two turtles with spikes on the top that kind of could be the sun or spikes on the turtle. And they're green and then the spikes are yellow. And we will have sunglasses be our symbol because in June, it's usually hot and sunny. So sunglasses will be our symbol for June. And it is already halfway through the month. It is the 15th day of the month of June. We're jumping right into the middle of the month. 15 is a one and a five. Let's clap our hands to get back into the routine of counting to 15. Are we ready? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, 15 claps. And now I said that usually it's sunny and we need sunglasses in June. I'm looking out my window from the kitchen and I see that it is hot. I was outside earlier and it was hot and sunny. So we can sing that today it is a hot and sunny day. It's a hot and sunny day. It's a hot and sunny day. It's a very, very hot and sunny day. It's a hot and sunny day. It's a hot and sunny day. It's a very, very hot and sunny day today. Um, we should sing a song for Music Helper today. Let's sing, hmm, if you're happy and you know it, because we haven't done that in a while. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. 
If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. <coughs> hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. <coughs> hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! All right. So to go along with our beach activity and our hot weather in June, I have a book called Biscuit's First Beach Day. And Biscuit is a yellow little puppy and he has made a sandcastle at the beach. Biscuit's First Beach Day by Alyssa Satin Capulli. Here we are, Biscuit. It's beautiful, sunny day. All right, so he's with his owner and they just got to the beach. She's carrying an umbrella, a beach bag, a beach ball, and a pail. It's a perfect day to spend the day at the beach. Woof, woof. We have our beach blanket and our towel. Woof, woof. We have a big umbrella too. Woof, that's the way to help Biscuit. So they've put their umbrella in the sand to keep the sun out of their faces and they're laying on their table and, or their, their towels. We can build a big sand castle at the beach, Biscuit. I have my pail and a shovel. Woof, woof. Funny puppy and you know just how to dig. Woof. Oh, she's making a sand castle with her pail. It looks like she's got three different parts to it and there's some shells around them. The beach is filled with seashells, Biscuit. Let's see how many we can find. Woof, woof. Oh, Biscuit, you found a starfish. Woof. So they're searching the beach and he's got a starfish, which is in the shape of a star. Look, Biscuit, Puddles is here. Woof, woof, bow wow. Puddles is somebody else's little puppy. It must be her friend, her friend's puppy. Maybe they'll play together. This way, everybody, we can all go for a dip in the ocean. Are you ready, Biscuit? Let's jump over the ocean waves together. Here comes a wave. Splash! Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Oh no, Biscuit. Not a big shake. Oh, he got wet, so he's shaking, shaking the water out. It's time to dry off. It's lunchtime. Woof, woof, bow wow. Silly puppies, no tugging on the towel. Oh, they both have the towel in their mouth and they're pulling on it. It's fun to have a picnic at the beach, Biscuit. We pack sandwiches, fruit, and drinks. Woof, woof, bow wow. And some special treats for you too. Oh, there is a bowl of doggy treats for them. Some doggy bones. Oh no, there goes our beach ball. Woof, woof. Oh, I think it's windy and it got blown away. Good puppy, you found our beach ball. You also found a seagull too. Woof. A seagull is a white and gray bird that lives by the sea and stays near the ocean. The sky is bright and clear. A warm breeze is blowing. The beach is a great place to fly our kite. Follow me, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Okay, so they've got their kite in the sky. Biscuit.
basket. Puddles, where are you going now? Woof, woof. Bow, wow. Sweet puppies, the beach is a perfect place for lots of fun in the sun and a little nap too. Oh, they are curled up underneath that umbrella on their towels, taking a nap. That sounds like a great beach day. Maybe some of you have got to spend some time in a pool and splash around. Or well, maybe we don't have beaches near us, but maybe some of you have gone on trips and have been able to splash in the ocean at a beach too. So for our sensory activity today, I have a recipe for sand paint which calls for flour and salt and paint. And so I have used some blue tempera paint. I chose to make mine blue, some salt and our flour, mixed it all together. And it looks like this. It's pretty thick, but you can definitely tell that there is some texture to it because of the salt. And so I also found a picture online and printed out a color page. You could make whatever you want on just a white piece of paper and painted on that picture. I painted the ocean. You could use a paintbrush if you wanted to, or you could use your fingers and you can definitely tell that there is a sandy feeling to it from the salt. There will be another activity posted um, on the photo section of Dojo, which will be um, some questions that, like um, comprehension questions that you can talk about with your child about the story that we read for Biscuit's first speech day. I hope you guys have a gr had a great vacation and are ready to get back into the swing of things for ESY and we will talk to you later.